What does it feel like now that you guys are here and you made it to second consecutive NCAA tournament? Yeah, it's surreal. Obviously, last last season we made it to the plan, but to actually be a part of the 64 team is something special. How hungry is this group after the way things turned out in Vegas? Yeah, uh, we're very hungry, and you know, um, we weren't the team uh, now that we were in uh, Colorado State. So getting back to what we were, we were, and like being connected has kind of been an emphasis for us. How important will it be to try and get out to a fast start, considering how much slower of a tempo that T Dayton plays at? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, obviously, the last game we had a little bit of a trouble with our start in our first half, but. Uh, this is what we play for, so it won't be hard to get guys ready for the, the game, and you know, this is a big moment. So, What would it mean to bring home a victory for this program in an NCAA tournament for the first time since 2018? Yeah, I mean, it would be awesome. Uh, we fell short last year, and uh, it's still on my bucket list to get a win here. Obviously, even better would it make, be to make a run, but... Yeah, first things first, we have to win the first game. How important will it be to try and slow down Holmes while also trying to defend the three-point line at the same time? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough scout. They, they remind me a lot of Utah State, which, uh, I mean, we actually played in Utah, so having a little bit of experience there helps. But uh, they're a great team. Holmes obviously a stud. They have great shooters, so I think if we, we go out there and execute our scouting report, we'll be fine. How cool has it been to see the Mountain West just kind of uniting as a whole? Colorado State pulled away with a victory. You know, Boise State is up tonight, but, you know, how cool has that been to see? I mean, it's been awesome. You know, we kind of beat up on each other the whole year, but as soon as postseason started, we kind of root for them. Uh, so, I mean, it's awesome to see what, what they did last night. They're a great team, and for them to win by like a large margin on in front of everyone as the first game of the tournament has been awesome. What's on your pregame playlist? Who's your artist? Um, I don't know. I kind of switch it up. Uh, I don't know. I've been listening to country a lot recently, so maybe some country. But before games, I always listen to uh, or reggae when I'm like getting ready. So I switch it up. But and then we, obviously we have rap when the when the guys play in the locker room. So I, I like that before game. But before that, it's kind of mellow. So if they give you the ox, you're not going to put country on before the game, no, though. I'll, I'll put on rap. You know, Daniel gave me so hard time. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll give him something they like. Hanging out with Tyler Rollison, true freshman at the NCAA tournament. What does it feel like? Uh, it's exciting. You know, everybody doesn't get to make it here. So me coming in as a freshman, making it here, I think that's one of the most exciting things I have. Tell me about your development this year. It feels like you were really striking while the iron's hot at the end of the year here. Uh, yeah, I think one of my biggest things was um, defense, um, guarding the ball, picking up 94 feet, and um, I think shooting the ball a little faster. I think those are the most things I had to work on coming into college as a freshman. I remember talking to Coach uh, after a recent game, and he said also getting to go against a guy like Keenan Blackshear every day in practice helps. Can you just tell me about how he's helped develop you? Uh, yeah, um, you know, he's a big guard, so um, I just think, like, guarding him and just being a little more physical, like, help me play defense, like, teach me a little technique on how I can still ball, and um, I think just playing harder. The core of this team has been waiting for this moment. How have they helped prepare you for what is going to take place uh, tomorrow? Uh, just every day in practice, everybody yeah, going at each other, yeah, just playing hard, um, keeping each other accountable. What can you say about the Dayton Flyers? Uh, they're a good team. There's nobody weak in this tournament, but I think we have a, um, we could beat them. We just got to stay the course and just stay focused. Is there like a collective chip on your guys' shoulder with the 10 seed and with the overall disrespect of the Mountain West? And then also now seeing Colorado State start off with some success, you got to be pretty motivated. Yeah, especially after the game we had. Um, I think the next day when we had practice, um, I think everybody was locked in and just we all just had that same mentality. Like we can't, that can't happen again. Uh, at this point, the signage, the gym, taking the bus, what does it just feel like to be a part of this March Madness moment? Uh, it feels good. Um, you know, I never thought I'd make it this far, but um, I just always enjoy the moment, and um, I just like everything that's going on about it. Yeah. I can imagine these are the kind of moments you wanted to experience when you decided to join the Wolfpack. What do you remember about committing to play for Steve Alford and, and everybody? Um, they just kept it real with me. Um, they just told me they told me everything that um, a player always needed to hear. Um, they didn't lie to me about nothing else. So um, I just think that's one thing I always look forward to, like a family type of basketball team. So I think that's what I found here. I'm sure you guys are more focused on yourselves, but what's going to have to happen to take down a Dayton team that certainly has some strengths that, um, that you guys are going to have to combat? Uh, I just think everybody just has to play their role and just do what they got to do on the court, and I think everything will be successful. How are you just soaking this in as a true freshman? Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, um, like I said, I didn't think I'd be here, so I'm just enjoying everything that's going on, every step. So, yeah. What is bumping in Tyler Rollison's headphones pregame? What artist? Uh, I'll probably go Young Boy, Lil Baby. 
um, Lil Durk. Um, I think that's it, yeah. He's definitely a freshman. <laughs> Tylen, welcome to Salt Lake City. What does it feel like now that you guys are here gearing up for the NCAA tournament? Feel amazing. Um, we're just ready to get to it. So we're just ready to get this first round over with, get it done, and move on to the next one. What does this feel for you personally, you know, to be able to part, be a part of something like this here this week with this group? Yeah, this is my first time, so it's, it's actually exciting just to be able to, to experience something like this. Not everybody that actually plays D1 basketball gets to be a part of something like this, so I'm very excited. You know, going up against Dayton and Holmes, I mean, what's kind of the, you know, plan for you when you go in there, when you get minutes off the bench to try and slow him down? Just just go in there and just play hard as possible. The game plan don't change versus any other team. I think we just go in and play physical as we can and just, just stick to our defensive principles and we should be fine. Is there a team that Dayton reminds you of, of the film that you guys have watched so far? No, not really. Not in our conference. I feel like uh, like our conference is more more physical and stuff like that in terms of the defensive aspect of it. But I think we should be fine. But I don't think we they compare anybody to in our conference. I don't think so. No. They play at a pretty slow pace. I mean, how important is that for you guys to not let that affect you and to still continue to play your tempo? Oh, I think it wouldn't affect us at all. I mean, we just we love to guard and have court, and I think that was one of our specialties, and I think that's why we had a huge success in the. Uh, in the season, so I think we should be fine. What um, what's been the most exciting part about being here so far? Just being here with my teammates and just just experiencing everything with our teammates and our coaches and stuff like that. I think that was a big big part of it. What's the energy just been like at practice after you guys got back from the tournament and you know it's a new week and you guys have a new season pretty much here. We just pretty much re, we have a different mindset how we approach things and I think we're ready to go. Got to ask you, who's your pregame artist? It's, it's, it depends on the mood, honestly. It's, it's different ones. It varies. So, I mean, it's, it's different ones all the time. You <laughs> Can you, one, yeah, could one. you share one with me or two? Uh, we got coaches. Uh, I mean, lately I've been feeling Jay-Z a lot, you know, just kind of get my mind together and stuff like that. So it's probably been Jay-Z the last couple of days. So I think that's it. Second one, uh, how does this moment feel maybe a little bit different from last year, if it does at all? Um, well, this year I get to play. Last year uh, I was hurt right before the, we came here, so a bit, a bit more exciting. Um, really can't get out there and uh, get on the court and play. What was kind of the, you know, nerves or excitement, I guess, when you guys touched down in Salt Lake and knowing that, hey, we're here and we've earned this moment? I think a lot less nerves than last year. It was a lot of our first time being here last year and um, this experience. So this year I think it's a lot more excitement and um, hunger to you know make a run with these guys and uh, I think we have the ability to do so. How connected do you think this group is right now? I think a lot of our success this season has come from being you know, a really tight group and uh, really, really close with one another. So I think that uh, that's going to help us hopefully make a run. Dayton being one of the best three-point shooters, how important will it be to try and defend them from the three-point line? Yeah, I kind of covered that over the past couple of days with the scout and whatnot. Um, one of the top three-point shooting teams, and then obviously we got a pretty good, talented uh, center inside. So uh, taking those away will probably help us put us in the position to get a win. Is there a team that stands out or reminds you of them at all from what you guys have seen this year? Um, I think pretty similar to, you know, you got the shooting, a bit of like a Colorado State in Mexico, and then got a pretty talented big inside. Kind of, I mean, pretty similar to like Utah State, I'd say, but you know, everyone's a bit different. No team's the same. So, um, yeah, we're going to respect them and know it's going to be a tough game. Being a senior, you know, how important is it for you to soak in this moment? Uh, yeah, definitely a great experience. Um, not something that happens every day, but um, hopefully something, you know, could keep having on years to come. But, yeah, no, definitely a fantastic experience and a great group of guys to share with. I think I'm good. I'm going to ask you Oh, yeah. Uh, who's your pregame artist right now? Pregame artist? Uh, I mean, I just go with whatever the fellas got going on with the speaker. <laughs> so I think that's Tyler Powell's role. A lot. Sometimes Nick Davidson hops on the orcs and uh, plays some horrible tracks, but we have to listen to him. <laughs> what happens if Daniel Foster yeah. gets the ox? We, what are you going to go with? Uh, it would be some stuff they've never heard of, and I'd, I'd probably just put them onto some music, you know. That's okay, though. But, yeah, we got some stuff from Australia they haven't heard that, I mean, I'm sure that would add to their playlist. Yeah.
we are trying to for sure. What's it gonna take in order to play? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think it's you know a lot just how I'm feeling. Um, you know, day to game, and um, you know, I, you know, I feel like the docs feel like and stuff that I can go. Then you know, I'm definitely gonna try to go, but. Um, you know, just want to you know be safe and, and, and stay healthy. So today, closer to yes or closer to no? <laughs> uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling all right today, so we'll see. We'll see. Are there any limitations in terms of practice or just the like, physical pain or anything like that? Um, I mean, a little bit for sure. You know, what I'm saying just you know, kind of not being able to play this week. Um, just kind of taking some time to you know heal up and, and, and get ready for the games. How frustrating is it? I mean, you were healthy pretty much all season. To get to this point, the highest stakes to even be in this situation. Uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely frustrating. You know, what I'm saying just the timing now is you know you don't really have a lot of time. So um, I think it's you know some I've honestly kind of dealt with you know throughout my time in Nevada. So I think I'm handling well and. Um, you know, just going to do what I can. Can you walk us through just kind of what happened after the UNLV game then? Uh, I mean, it was just kind of experiencing some soreness, um, a little, you know, kind of more intense than, I guess, kind of in the past. And, um, you know, kind of just talk with the coaches and trainers is, you know, kind of just best to kind of take a step back right now and, um, you know, kind of just prepare for, for these type games. You know, having dealt with this before in this adversity last season, how do you just kind of remind yourself of those moments that, hey, you were able to overcome that and, We'll see then if you are good to go. Uh, I mean, I just stay in present, man. We got a you know great team, great group of guys. Um, you know, they you know lift me up and, and motivate me. You know, it's, you know more than they know. So uh, I think it's you know been good to just be around the guys during this time. What excites you most about being here now? Uh, I mean, trying to win. You know, we got another another crack at it. You know, we I, I still got the Arizona taste in my mouth. So um, I think you know for us just another opportunity and uh, one you know we want to take advantage of. How tough was it for you to sit at home and watch the Mountain West tournament and just the way that things had played out for your guys out there? I mean, it was tough. It was tough. You know, I definitely wanted to you know be there and support, um, but you know, kind of had to stay back and um, do what I can just health wise, so I could you know hopefully kind of get back for these games. It's in the headphones pregame. Pregame recently. There's been a lot of a lot of Kirk Franklin, a lot of William Murphy. It's a big Atlanta guy, so now I've been I've been on my gospel flow recently for sure. I like your style. <laughs> Trey, you're here, second NCAA tournament. Just how exciting is this for you to be back here? Uh, it's real exciting, you know, especially how the way things ended last year. So I think uh, we're very excited and motivated to get back on the court. How hungry is this group, you know, with how the outcome of last week in the Mount West tournament? Yeah, uh, very hungry, you know, that based on uh, last year too, you know, just confining on each other. I think we, uh, we're we ready for this and uh, that's what we've been working for. What stands out to you about Dayton that you guys have seen so far? Uh, definitely a three-point shooting, of course, and obviously their post player in Holmes. But really just that three-point shooting. I think they're the best three-point shooting team we've played uh, to date. So I think uh, if we limit those and, and take away some of their post play, we'll have a good game. How important will that be to try and defend the three while also trying to stop Holmes at the same time? Yeah, I think that'll be our our biggest challenge, but I think we're ready for it. You know, uh, having me, Keenan, and Daniel out there, big wins, I think we'll, we'll be able to do it. Is there a team that you guys have played this season that stands out or reminds you of Dayton from what you've seen? Um, I can't I can't really say so. Uh, I, don't, I don't really think so because their post player is so dominant and their three-point shooting is the best we've seen, so... Uh, I don't really think so. And they play at a slower pace, too. So how important is it for you guys just to stick to your game and not let them dictate that? Uh, really just play how we play and just do what we do. I think uh, that will just be the best for us. What does this moment mean for you to be back here and to experience this again? Uh, it's great. You know, it's a lot of people go through their whole college career without being able to experience it. So I think uh, for me to experience it twice, it's really good. Do you guys feel like you have a, a chip on your shoulder coming into this one? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think uh, we wasn't respected as, as much as we wanted to be, so I think everybody in the Mountain West got a chip on their shoulder. Seeing Colorado State come away with a win, does that just kind of maybe motivate you guys that, hey, a Mountain West school can go out there and do it, we can go out there and get a win too? Yeah, for sure. Seeing We watched the whole game, and yeah, the way they played, I think, it's just it just goes to show how tough the Mountain West is. Who's your pregame artist right now? Uh, NBA Youngboy. You're quick to answer that one. Yeah. He's been jamming the tune. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Young boy's sweeping the locker room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got one more quick one. Yeah. Just, Trey, just, you know, there's been so much talk about righting the wrongs of last year. Is there a, a limit to that talk in terms of, like, putting too much pressure on yourself now that you're at this moment? Yeah, we don't uh, we don't try to put too much on ourselves from, from last year, but we definitely remember it. KJ, we're here. What's it feel like to be in Salt Lake and on the precipice of the NCAA tournament? Feels good. I'm ready to go. We all, we're all ready to go. 
Tell me about that collective ready to go ness, if you will. And you, a, a word that's been used a lot this year with this team is connected. How connected do you guys feel in this moment? Man, we've we've been connected all year. I think we've just gotten closer and closer as the year has gone on. And I think, you know, we're ready to do some damage. Now a couple of days to see what the Flyers are all about. What can you say about them? You know, they're a good team, high-octane offense, uh, shoot a lot of threes. Obviously, they got an All-American in Deron Holmes. So it's going to be a good it's gonna be a good challenge, good challenge in the first round, for sure. Deron Holmes, an Arizona boy, as are you. Tell me about that history with uh, their big man. Yeah, yeah, I've known Deron for probably more than 10 years at this point. It's been my guy for a long time, so it's pretty cool that we get to match up in this first round. What's the reaction between you and Isaac, your little bro who also knows him when you see Dayton come up? And I'm sure you've been following his season as a friend yeah, of his. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no. Um, I remember as soon as that name popped on the board, I looked at Isaac and we both just started laughing. We were like, okay, it's time to go. It's time. So, yeah, it was, it's, it, it was funny. It's a good feeling. And I'm excited to, uh, excited to see it play out. It's especially time for you. All eyes are going to be on that matchup with you and him in the paint. Mm -hmm. How are you going to combat him? Because he's a hell of a player. Yeah, you know, obviously he's an All-American. You don't got to say too much more about that. But, you know, I'm just going to uh, have faith in my ability and follow the scout and, you know, handle, handle business. As a whole, is there a team you've faced this year that can compare to Dayton in any way? I would say the closest one is probably is prob not too much. I would say the closest one is probably Utah State. But I think uh, Dayton focalizes shooting a three a little bit more than them. Um, but I, I wouldn't say this too too close of a comparison so far. The Mountain West Conference just got done kicking each other's butts for a few months, right? Now you're all rooting for each other. How much is there just kind of a collective conference chip on your shoulder, if you will? Oh yeah, it's it's been crazy. You know, I've been looking on Twitter. I've never seen the conference so uh, so united. You know what I mean? And it's it's kind of cool. Um, I've seen you know some Utah State fans commenting on stuff. Hey, we're going to be at the game at Salt Lake as Wolfpack fans. So it's it's kind of cool. It's cool to see. It's been six years since this program won a game at the NCAA tournament. What would it mean to be a part of the team that does it here in 2024? Uh, it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot, you know, and I think me and a lot of other guys, we want to win a few games in March. And we, we got this talent. We got the squad to do it. So that's the goal for sure. Ultimately, what do you think this game will come down to? Dayton doesn't foul a lot. You guys like to get to the free throw line. Dayton can shoot the heck out of the three-point line, but maybe can't guard as well as you guys do. Yeah, you know, um, you know, they got their strengths, we got our strengths, and I think, you know, we can, we, we'll be able to attack it for sure. All right. Pre-game, what artist is in your headphones? Um, I listen to a lot of, like, Lil Durk, uh, Young Dolph, um, and I've been listening to a lot of No Cap, too. Yeah, so those, those are my three. That's my rotation pre-game for sure. So you're telling me there's an artist that took this whole no cap, like you're not lying, no lies, right? No yeah. cap, and he just made it as his name now? That's his name, yeah, because I guess, I guess he doesn't lie when on his songs. I don't know what it is, but, you know, he's, he's a good artist. He makes a lot of good, good songs. A lot of guys on the team listen to him, so, yeah. No cap. No cap. No cap is in the locker room. <laughs>